Yo, 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 guys, before this video starts, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my friend, the Mr. Wolf. He just started his YouTube channel about three weeks ago. He plays FIFA and Fortnite, and he just uploaded a new video a week ago playing Fortnite. So I hope you join his channel. And if you join, and if you go subscribe his channel to his channel, you're pretty much subscribing to mine too because he's such a big friend of mine. So, anyway, guys, enjoy the video. Yo, 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 guys, what is up? It is Sterno coming at you with a brand new video. And as of this recording, uh, Prime Day is coming up in, on Monday in two days. And basically, I want to show you guys if the Amazon Fire HD 8 is worth your money. So, on Prime Day, um, uh, two, two HD 8s are going to be for $80, and you can get one for $50. So, um, and right now, it's for, it's, uh, one HD8 is going for $80, so if you get the two for one, which is $80, that's pretty much getting one for free. So I, I would recommend getting that over the just, you know, just one Fire HD8. So, anyway, um, this is what it is, okay. Um, comes with little, it's very, very minimal packaging. Probably the most minimal packaging I've ever seen for a tablet. Let's see. Okay, so... It's a it's an 800p display. It is not a full HD 1080p display, which is the standard that we have right now. But um, you know, if you want something that is for just entertainment, streaming, you know, like nothing too fancy, technical, like video editing, this will suit your needs just fine. So you can also have a micro SD slot for storing, you know, photos, videos, music. Um, but one warning that I do have is that uh, a, a lot of apps on the Amazon store do not uh, they do not like allow you to transfer the app to to an SD slot because of like security purposes. So uh, that's just a warning there. The SD slots only for photos, videos, music, and like other files, not apps. So it's also quad core, which is uh, very crucial for multitasking. Dual band Wi-Fi, which means it supports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz is basically your your standard Wi-Fi, and 5 gigahertz is the fast is the faster Wi-Fi. So, basically, front and rear camera, so you can use the front camera, you know, for video calls, Skype, rear camera for I don't know, like taking a random picture. But like one thing I will say is that like if you're if you're buying a tablet and you want a good camera, like like if if the camera is one of the main things you want from a tablet that you're buying, don't get that. And actually, like I would say, if you're looking for a tablet with a good camera, don't even get a tablet. Then, like, just get a camera, you know. But anyway, that's besides the fact. Dolby, it has these speakers are Dolby powered. Um, it's dual dual uh, bottom firing speakers, so sounds pretty good. Um, also has 10, 10 hours of battery life. This is the sixteen gigabyte version. It's going again. It's going for. It's going for eighty dollars right now on Amazon. On Prime Day, it'll be eighty dollars for two, and one dollar. I mean, and and one for fifty dollars. My bad. <laughs> All right, so you you always open it like that. It's very easy to open. Um, by the way, they also have a kids version of this that's coming out. Um, it's 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 gonna be one twenty for two. So, uh, the reason why it's for uh why the Two bundle for the kids edition is four dollars more than this is because it comes with like a super thick like protective case for kids. It also comes with like you know kids restrictions abilities. So as I open it, I open it and like the the stuff here just slid out. Um, you know, little cable AC adapter. That's nice. A lot of tablets at this price point. Oops. A lot of tablets at this price point don't come with AC adapters, so that's really nice to see. And um. Fire HD 8. Oops. Um, you know, it's a, it's a quick setup guide. And, uh, you know, fire, do more with your fire, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I, I will say that if you're getting this tablet on uh, Prime Day and you have an Amazon Prime subscription, like, don't even think about it, just get it. Like, I don't care if you're barely going to use it because cause you will use it, you know, because if you have Amazon Prime, you're going to be watching videos, you know, watching music, uh, you know, using Kindle, um, 
Wait, I mean listening music. What am I saying? So, here's a setup. You can see my camera. My camera, by the way, is a Lumix, uh, Panasonic Lumix G7. So, yeah. Uh, also, the, the apps for, um, the Amazon apps on Fire HD tablets are very optimized. So, uh, like, let's say, uh, usually on other Android tablets, you know, your, your apps are lagging and stuff. But for Amazon apps in particular, on this, on the, basically all the Fire tablets, it's optimized just for these devices. So that's nice. And by the way, this also runs on an, uh, on a, the Amazon, like the Amazon uh, Android skin. So that also means there's no Google Play apps. Like like there's no Google apps, uh, Google services, no Google Play Store. But you can just search it up on uh, uh, how to get the Play Store on Amazon Fire Tablet. Just search it up and you'll be able to get it for free. By the way. Oh, you can also... So this is what it looks like when you open, open the thing. Um, there's also you know font adjustment. I just put it little, little on the third setting. So I'm on English connections. So as you can see, 2.4 gigahertz and oops, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz settings show up. So I just choose mine. I'm just putting the password. So. We're back. It's checking for you know updates and stuff, but now it says register your fire. So, uh, like like again, if I said like if you have Amazon Prime, this is a must get. See, so you just link your Amazon account. I'll do I'll go do that real quick. You know, it's just updating stuff again. So fire options, location services. I'm not I'm not gonna say my Wi-Fi password to Amazon. Auto save for those videos. I won't do that because this is a media consumption device. It's not for taking photos, editing videos. Um, like if you guys want productivity, like editing videos, you know, like business, making emails, uh, you know, uh, making Word documents, definitely go get an iPad. Uh, you know, because iPads like iPads are a lot more expensive than these tab than these fire tablets, but they're way more reliable for productivity tasks and pretty much iPads pretty much one of the best products from Apple. Child profile. Okay, you can also make it kid friendly, not now. But yeah, like I would say if you're getting if you're getting if you want if you're planning to get this thing for a kid, like I do suggest uh go pay an extra forty dollars for the two for one for the uh, Fire HD 8 Kids Edition because it again it has that you know that bulky case so your kids don't break it. Connect to Facebook, connect to Twitter. I don't do social media browsing in here. I only I strictly do that on my iPhone. Uh, you know, free trial, Audible, no thanks. I already have Prime, so um, I don't need that stuff. Kindle Limited, I already have Prime again because uh, they give you free ebooks for. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, it's it's showing me stuff that's already that I can already get with my Prime account. So, oh, popular apps and games. I am gonna go download Netflix. It's it's just giving you options while you're setting up. You know, what apps you want to download, what you know, books you want to download. So, welcome, yeah, welcome. Okay, I, the thing. Okay, Alexa, they have Alexa. So it so like you can use. The tutorial will basically show you, but I'm just skipping through that because I just want to show you guys basically how I use this thing. So, as you can see, I I scroll down. Uh, that's my name, Ethan. It says it's my second fire because this isn't the first fire that I've registered on, but um, you know, as you can see, it's already registered. And then it also has Bluetooth, airplane mode. That's a blue shade, which is um like basically when it's nighttime middle of the night and you want to use a tablet you can turn this on turn off the blue light airplane mode for when you're in an airplane uh... yeah and ten hours of battery it's pretty much comparable to an ipad which is very good uh, so I'll just show you guys show you an example so i've been watching the men of the high castle lately really good show okay let's 
Pressing Resume Episode 1. Again, all these Amazon apps are optimized. Oops. Yeah, my stuff is just buffering. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, looks, that looks pretty nice, huh? We lost the war, didn't we? Now I can't even remember what we were fighting for. <laughs> looks really nice. Um, this is the one of the, the thing on full brightness. Full brightness is pretty bright. Must be proud. Uh, like I wouldn't say it's. Wow, you see how nice that is? It looks very nice on this thing. For an 800, for an 800p resolution. This is a very good looking screen. But, anyway, yeah, the uh, full brightness on thing, uh, full brightness on this thing, like it kind of shows this tablet's meant to be used indoors, or, like in the car, like not outside though, because the full screen brightness on this is like half of my iPhones. It's pretty, like, uh, like I won't say the full screen brightness is like, I would say it's not enough, but uh, you get up to 10 hours of battery life, so. But again, if if you're just using this for media consumption, you know, watching YouTube, um, you know, playing a little music, Prime Video, you know, the eBooks, a little browsing, I would say it's worth it for, for $80 for two. And uh, again, if you're planning on just getting the single one, fifty dollars, I'd say go for two. I mean, unless if you're like really lonely living by yourself. But like, like if you know some people that would like, that would love to have this. If you have, if someone's birthday is coming up, just let's get the two for one and get one for yourself. Just give the other to someone. On the back, Amazon. So, uh, cameras are pretty bad though. But I'll just show you guys a little. It's. Two megapixels camera, uh, two two megapixel cameras front and back. So that's really not good at all. See, that's the front facing, pretty sufficient. Front facing, front facing is um, yeah, front facing is pretty okay for video calls, but. If you wanna like, if you're expecting to have really good, you know, crystal clear photos coming out of that, I definitely don't recommend this. Mm, yeah, so it's calculator and stuff. Oh yeah, and again, um, if there on the Amazon uh, App Store, there's very there's a very limited selection of apps. I do have to say, but there's a way to bypass that by downloading the Google Play Store on this thing. You could just search that up anywhere for how to do it. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope I've helped you, you know, with your decision to make this purchase. Uh, again, you know, bottom on the bottom, two, two bottom firing speakers, stereo, front camera, rear camera, 3.5 millimeter jack for audio, charger port, power button, volume buttons. Pretty nice, pretty sturdy too. So, anyway, guys, see you in the next one.